The B consists of four things. Everyone knows what a music video is. And everyone knows what new... All programs. up next. The 1991-92 school year has been an unforgettable experience for students, faculty, and all supporters of the school. Another successful chapter here at DHS has gone down in the books. Academic excellence at Downingtown High School continued under the direction of the dedicated teaching staff. Over 25% of the student body make the honor roll each semester, and Downingtown ranks among the state's top schools in PSAT, SAT, and ACT scores. Tomorrow's leaders are in Downingtown's classes today. Pep rallies rocked the school as spirit culminated in an intense fusion. The bonfire was a success as usual as spirits soared for homecoming. The powder puff game was a classic, and the male cheerleaders were a big hit. All of the fall sports teams gave our school much to be proud of as girls field hockey, girls tennis, 
and both soccer teams finished with winning seasons, while the football team played well and had a good year of rebuilding. The girls' tennis team won chess months, and the field hockey team competed for district contention. Homecoming, a time to remember. Great school spirit, a beautiful homecoming court, and a great football game. Homecoming week was filled with activities, topping off with the traditional homecoming dance. It certainly was a week to remember. depths of the summer inferno. The Blue and Gold Marching Band became a serious contender this year at state championships, receiving a superior rating. The band performed at home and away football games and played at pep rallies, where their spirit and enthusiasm led the way. A place of relaxation, food consumption, 
and pure bonding. The oh-so-tasty food disappears rapidly, and soon it is time to return to the fun-filled classes of Downingtown. Who knows, some of our unusual displays of talent just might make it into the movies someday. When the night has come. With winter approaching, the fall season ended with more football fun and another great pep rally the week of Thanksgiving. DHS Winter Sports dominated the league, and the girls' basketball team not only won the state championship, but was also ranked eighth in the nation, with Tina Nicholson receiving special recognition as Gatorade Player of the Year for Pennsylvania, as well as Kodak All-American. Student Council sponsored a pseudo game show, a la Family Feud, to pit the most brilliant minds of each class against each other for total domination. Of what, we have no idea. There were four teams, the sophomores, the juniors, the seniors, and a faculty team, with the victory crown going to the seniors. Academics is the hallmark of Downingtown's educational program, a caring administration, a dedicated teaching staff, and a very special student body make Downingtown High School an outstanding place to learn and grow. Yes, that's right. Thanks to the borrowed spend binge of the 80s, the U.S. remains 
burdened with economic problems that will frustrate growth for years. Who heads up the U.S. Federal Reserve Board? Yes, that is your... This was the year of the 60s retro style. What a babe. What was hot? T-shirts, caps, bike shorts, and leisure suits. Not. And serious footage including boots, bucks, sandals, and platforms. <laughs> As if. Everybody was environmentally conscious. Not. Most of us recycled. Remember, we've only got one Mother Earth, and she's not recyclable. Like Major Man, serious problems like AIDS and homeless got lots of attention when rock stars and celebrities lent their time to raise money for research and health. Really mental, man. We listen to lots of music, more CDs than tape. MTV and much music dominated television's music videos. They really wail. The music department ended the school year with a triumphant success at the Festivals of Music competition held in Williamsburg, Virginia. The department brought back to Downingtown High School 18 trophies, which represents a year of intense rehearsal and the tremendous talent found in the high school. Period. My lizard was too rad. It's first period, we just came in, a oh, nice breakfast. You're signing in. Yeah. First period, guys. Look. D-Day. Reason for tardiness. Tartar controlled crest. <laughs> what is the purpose of life? The National Honor Society's annual lip sync competition provided a fun-filled evening for the audience as well as for the competitors. Rare and unusual talent was the catchword of the event. vocation technical students excelled to new personal heights in academics as well as technical competition. Sports were not to be outdone. Girls softball and lacrosse teams both won league championships and advanced to district competition.
Amanda and Kelly and Jen. She can't be here. We just want to wish everybody good luck and see you at senior week. Bye. Bye. <laughs> and so it begins. We reach for the stars. Lift up your voice. Freedom is ours. The spirit's alive. Oh, what a ride. This is your life. Oh, this is your life. This is your world. This is your life. This is your life. This is your world. The struggle begins. This is the price of living our hope. This is your chance. This is your life. Oh. Mr. John Appleby was named the 1992 Teacher of the Year. Mr. Appleby has taught American history, government, and world cultures for the past 32 years. Besides teaching, he coached football, wrestling, basketball, and track, and has also served as vice principal, teacher association president, and chief negotiator. Living Arts Weekend this year took on a new look, with students and parents becoming involved in a variety of different activities, including a fashion show, food tasting, bow tying, radio controlled cars, coloring contest, video portraits, as well as student artwork displays. Hello, this is Jill Hako. She's the greatest hockey player in the world and she tastes good. This is Brett, and he's so witty. <laughs> Hi, this is Anne Marie, and she smells good. <laughs> Hi, this is Hillary, <laughs> otherwise known as Hell or Kristen. <laughs> this is Tim, and he's slim. <laughs> this is Michelle, and I've known her forever. <laughs> this is Kristen. Very strange, but still sweet. Very <laughs> strange. And this is, whoa, this is Rob, and he can two strut. <laughs> Bye. 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 High school has definitely been the time of our lives. Can't forget those parties at my house with the coppers invited too. Parties at my house. Not my house. <laughs> Nights at the tree farm. 
16th hole of the golf course. House party. And of course, can't forget Grant's barn parties. Goodbye, DHS. Good luck, 1992. Bye, Downing Town. This is Sheila and Chris. See ya. Bye, everyone. Bye, Downing Town. Okay, I'm um, high. Uh, this is Megan up here to my left. This is Colleen. And this is Haisha down below. And um, we're seniors and we're graduating and we're happy. Woo! <laughs> At least I'm happy. Nice enthusiasm. But uh, we just want to say uh, good luck to anyone who's an underclassman. And I wish you well. And who's ever going to college and who's ever not, be successful and happy. And see ya. <laughs> D folks. Bye. <laughs> Hi. I'm Chris. This is Lori, Trista, Ned Neilmeyer. That's Dusty Bottoms. <laughs> and that's the and th and that's Dr. Feelgood. And we're not normal. We're just we're just here hanging around like we have been for the past three years. And good luck to the class of 1992. Peace. Here's a story. Brady Bunch, and we're not doing anything really dumb. <laughs> okay, I'm Dorothy, and right next to me here is Heather Gary, the woman of the year, the student council woman of the year. Well, I'm Heather, and I just wanted to say goodbye to Downingtown. I'm going to miss everybody. I love everybody. And sitting right next to me is Pam Cross, and what can I say about Pam except for the, she is the woman, very symbolic. And this is Missy Billings, and I once saved her from a from a uh, almost fatal accident with a fireplace and she's going to be indebted to me for the rest of her life. Woo baby! Woo mama! <laughs> Thank you, uh, Missy, for those eloquent words. Um, I, yes, I was student director and I, if I could redo my life again, I wouldn't do it. <laughs> um, but I can't, so I won't. And um, I just want to say something about Dorothy since we're making the big loop here. Um, Dorothy has great, got a great laugh, and she's very funny, and her hair is really nice. And she loves Dr. Lorento. <laughs> and, um, and other than that, um, we just want to say goodbye. The class of 1993 celebrated a fun-filled year at the junior prom held at the Fairview Kimberton. It was a night for laughs, dancing, and a lot of fun.
Lindsay Lindsay too. From Dana, Tracy, and Dawn. It's Bye. been fun. <laughs> Bye. We're out of here. Hi, I'm Scott Tackett, and I'm out of gas. I'm Doug Swanson, pusher. Jeff Jabracki, pusher. Stop. Morgan Clark. Justin Lawrence, pusher. Tom Morthen. And this is our immigrant friend, John Carmichael, and he has no idea what that sign says. And Greg Marchand, better known as Rude Dog, Slim, or Squig. Stace, Carrie, Michelle, Kristen, Julie, Steph, and, and we're too sexy for the school. See ya! See ya! See ya! See ya! <laughs> This year, on May 30th, the senior class celebrated their three years at Downingtown at the senior prom held at the Valley Forge Sheraton. Everyone enjoyed the music, the dancing, and the company. It was a great way to conclude three years at Downingtown. And now from the Video Yearbook News Desk, a look at the top events of 91-92. The collapse of the Soviet Union dominated world events in the autumn of 1991. Communist hardliners led the ouster of Soviet Premier Mikhail Gorbachev and ushered in Boris Yeltsin. Magic Johnson, the Los Angeles Lakers basketball star and NBA most valuable player, shocked the world with an announcement that he was carrying the AIDS virus. I'm going to miss playing. And... Uh... I would now become a, a spokesman for the HIV virus. Democrats and Republicans were jostling for their party's presidential nominations as states held primary elections. In sports, a great World Series, the Minnesota Twins taking the Atlanta Braves to win baseball's fall classic. The Washington Redskins capped a championship season with a victory over the Buffalo Bills in Super Bowl 26. The Duke Blue Devils made it two in a row in college basketball, defeating Michigan in the NCAA Finals. In entertainment, the major networks continue to dominate ratings with shows such as The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, A Different World, and Northern Exposure. The Fox Television Network made new inroads into the teen market with Beverly Hills 90210, In Living Color, and Married with Children. On the silver screen, Terminator 2 and Wayne's World scored big. Emerging music trends in 91-92 included Boys to Men, Brian Adams, Guns N' Roses, Marky Mark, and Garth Brooks. And that covers 91-92. Now a word from your school. This has sort of been a special class to me because we began, I as new building principal and you as new sophomores coming into the building. The, the last three years have been ones of excellence. You've continued to build upon the athletic and the academic and the musical excellence of years past. And I congratulate you on those achievements. I congratulate you on reaching the milestone of a high school graduation. And I wish you'd continue success in your future endeavors. Best of luck to the class of 92.
And I'll take 